So there's a little bit of a breeze around today and I just thought I'd go and play a couple of holes, talk you through a few differences and changes you have to make to your shots when you're playing in a breeze. Right, let's go. So first of all, playing the tee shot, I'm going to grip down the shaft a little bit, give me more control of that driver. The wind's pushing from behind me here. So really important that I maintain my spinal angle. I don't want to stand up against the breeze that'll come out of the shot. This ball will definitely go right if I do that. So the wind is about 30 knots off the left. I'm going to make sure I grip down the shaft, both towards the middle of my stance rather than forward. I'm allowing for the breeze, obviously, but then as I hit it, I'm going to make sure I maintain that spinal angle as long as I possibly can. Let's see how this goes. Perfect, nice little fade. Just starting on the left side, drifting into the middle of the fairway. Okay, so it's not a bad lie. I'm just a yard off the fairway. I've got about 90 yards to the pin. Again, strong wind off the left from my back. So I'm going to again maintain that posture. Really remembering to hold my spinal angle all the way through impact. I'm not going to stand up against it. I've got my 50 degree gap wedge and I'm trying to keep this flighted very low. Hands ahead in my setup. I'm really holding that swing off. This is not going to look pretty, but it's going to get onto the green, hopefully. Ball towards the back of my stance, hands forward, the windy wedge. And really keeping the loft off the club all the time. There you go, again, just drifting back to the pin now. I'll take that. So again, really making sure I hit ball before turf on this shot, keeping the loft off the club. It's a downward blow, but I'm keeping my hands and the shaft ahead of the blade all the way into impact. So I've left myself about a 15 foot putt here. Now one thing I'm going to make sure, with that wind coming straight into me, I've got to get this a little bit firmer, I'm going to keep the putter really in control, build a nice wide base with my stance, a little bit wider than I would normally go, so instead of being about shoulder width, I'm just going to get those feet a fraction wider and really connect me to the ground nicely. A quick look at the line, looks like it's just going to break off the right, I am going to factor in the breeze here give it a little bit more of a hit, so slightly wider stance than I'd normally have. Again, I'm going down to the bottom of the grip like I've done with each of the shots. Just gives me control of that club head. This will be a nice three. Oh, and she goes, there you go. That's a birdie. Okay, let's get to the next. Okay, so we're on to the second hole here at St Anzo Links. It's 400 yards, wind massively off the right this time. So again, I'm gonna have the wind into my face. I'm gonna maintain that posture, but lean against the breeze. Try not to let it blow me off balance. Slightly wider stance yet again. And once again, as with all these shots, I'm just going down the grip, give me that control. The swing does feel shorter and punchier. I don't want the club waving around and getting moved by the breeze. So hitting it down the right hand side, letting that wind shift it back. That's a great strike. And the wind's just shifting that back on the breeze. This is that new type, this TS2 driver I was fit for, really like it. Okay, there's a bit of dark stuff coming. It's looking like it's getting a bit more brutal out here. There's the ball. Got my eight iron, ball back in the stance again. This is about 140 yard shot. Once again, keep up my hands forward ahead of it. Oh. So the camera's blown over a couple of times. I've lost my heart, but I'm back out. Got an eight iron hitting this in about 140 yards. Again, wind off the right, ball back in the stance, keeping the hands forward and just squeezing it. Look at that low follow through, just compresses the ball, pushes it through the breeze. I'll take that all day long.
Just managed to get it, just right side of the green. Okay, so it looks like I've got one, two, three. About a 20 foot putt to make it two birdies. Just a little look at the line. Downwind now, the wind's pushing behind me. It's gonna let that ball roll. A couple of things I keep going on about, giving myself that wider base, gripping down the club. They give me control, get me closer to the ball, and help me feel a bit more stable in these conditions. Just off that right lip. No, he hasn't, has he? Oh. Oh, I'll take that. That was brutal. I hope you've enjoyed that quick look at playing a couple of holes in the wind. A couple of key points that I keep stressing here. With the wind off your back, make sure you maintain your spinal angle and don't let it, don't stand up against it, don't let it push you over. Really about core strength and stability. Keep that stance a bit wider than you'd normally have. Grip down the grip as well. Give yourself more control. I'm gonna go and get dry and warm. Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed that. If you do, please make sure you like and subscribe. Give, hit that notifications bell as well because you won't miss out on any future giveaways. It's almost Ryder Cup time, who's gonna win? I'm gonna get ready and head over there next week. I will see you soon, keep watching.